Hi, this is Mike Madsen with Go Engineer. I'm a certified SolidWorks Applications Engineer, and I wanted to go over this Go Engineer quick tip with you and introduce the 2D simulation. I have an example here that I'd like to go through just to introduce that and some key functionality. Uh, first, we'll go ahead and create a new study. And this new 2D simulation uh, covers both static, thermal, and nonlinear studies. You'll notice down here at the bottom there's a use 2D simplification. For this example, we'll use nonlinear and we'll turn on the 2D simplification. And it gives us three different types of simplifications that we can do based upon how we like to analyze the part. For this example, I'm going to use axis symmetry because this is a bolt. Uh, it's, it's symmetric about an axis, so that's why we'll select axis symmetry. Uh, I'll go ahead and select a plane. We'll go ahead and do plane 1, and then we'll select the axis about which that's symmetric. Uh, and then it's already been pre-created here in axes. And we'll go ahead and select OK, and you'll notice that our part gets simplified into essentially two surfaces. What I'm going to do now is, because this is a nonlinear part, is I'm going to apply a nonlinear model type to these particular bolts and I'll apply it to all materials and then uh, we'll go ahead and create a contact set we'll do a no penetration so that the nut can't go through the bolt I'll go ahead and select the face of the bolt and then the face of the nut second we need to apply our fixtures We'll go ahead and apply a roller slider fixture so that the bolt can't move left to right. And then apply one up here at top so that the nut can't move up or down. Then we'll go ahead and apply a load here. We want to push the bolt down, so we'll apply a load here at the top. And we'll leave it normal to this direction, which means that it's going to be pointing down currently onto the bolt. We'll change our units here and apply a load of 3,000 pounds. And now that it's all set up, you'll notice everything's pretty much the same as a normal study. We'll go ahead and create a default mesh. And then we'll go ahead and run the study. Now, it being very simplified in this case, it's going to run re really quite fast for nonlinear analysis. Now that this is solved, uh, we have our results, and we can view them in either 2D, or because they're axisymmetric, we can right-click on the particular results plot that we're showing, and a new option is available that says Show as 3D Plot. Now this is kind of nice because it gives you a nice kind of 3D representation of the stress throughout the part there. This has been Mike Madsen with Co-Engineer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos and more tips using SolidWorks. Thanks.